Alright, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Rakaha Kudash. Double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, who rule well, teach well, watch over the flock with much diligence. Peace, love, and salutation unto the whole four let kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth and hopes of salvation at Yahweh Shai's return. Brother Amma Wan from the Great Millstone Branch, Los Angeles, and I'm back here. Okay, with another quick lesson. Likewise, Shalom to the sisters who are out there and the little ones who are also patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. But um, just back here with another lesson. Um, and today's lesson, okay, I want to go into how Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh Shai helps with our burdens. You know, Yahweh Shai is the one that's, uh, uh, he put the burden on us. Right, we, we, we went under his yoke, he gave us the task, and now we have to bear um, the, the task at hand, you know, suffering, long suffering, or right, as a righteous man in a, in a wicked world, you know, seeing how upside down this place is, and, and, and you and a few like you, all right, are trying to, trying to do the right thing, trying to, trying to have this burden, you, you have to bear the ignorance of these people, man. You know, so, but also, all right, this, this burden, okay, is, is not, it's not, it's not heavy. Okay, your house shy burden is not heavy, it's easy. All right, and so, I'm going to get, I'm going to get into that. And also, I'm going to pull from out of the manners and customs, um, from page uh, 180 on uh, Yahweh Shai's yoke. There's a passage in here that I want to read. About Yahweh Shai's yoke, man, and that and that's what we're all bearing. We know how Yahweh Shai and the disciples and the apostles suffered, you know, losing losing a, a, a lot of things, their life, you know, overall. And and, and and we are to take that an example for these times, much more, much more as the time approaches, you know. But um I'm gonna get into it, Lord willing. Uh this video is edifying, but the name of this uh, lesson once again. Yahweh Shai helps with our burdens. Okay, I can walk walk. So I'm gonna get into this from uh, page uh, 180 out of the Manners and Customs. You know, great book uh, to read. You know, to broaden the understanding. You know, but uh, let's get into it. So it says Yahweh Shai's yoke. It says it is commonly thought that Yahweh Shai was talking in Matthew 11:28 about the yoke that harnessed animals together when they were pulling a plow or a load. He was instead referring to a piece of wood that was fitted over one shoulder so that loads could be hung on it. The device was similar to the yoke used by the milkmaid of a bondage age when she was carrying two two pails, right? Because when she, when which is a a milkmaid is a uh, is a young is a young woman, which that word um, bygone uh, bygone, bygone uh, is a woman of an early age, young woman of an early age. Right, she used the yoke, right, to, to uh, help her carry with multiple uh, loads of uh, with multiple loads of milk. That made the, the, the burden easier. All right, so having the spirit of Yahweh by Shimiao Shai makes this burden easier. Okay, but let me keep reading. It says, um, the reference in Matthew 11 is to a porter. Often he was, uh, and it's talking about Matthew 11 and 28, which I'm going to read, but I just want to read this first. It says, the reference in Matthew 11 is to a porter. Often he was asked to carry loads impossible for a human being. But when he was given a yoke, the burden became much easier. Right, because when you look at the task of a porter, it seemed like, damn, when you go to work, it's like, damn, how, how am I going to get this shit done? It's a lot of tasks. But, your, but your, uh, your master gives you the tools to finish that and make the job more easier. So we've been given the Holy Spirit to endure afflictions, all right, to endure all types of trials and tribulations. Why? Because the Lord said we'll be baptized with the Holy Spirit and with fire, right? But while we're bearing this yoke, all right, while we, while, I mean, while we have, while we bearing this burden, we have the yoke, which is the Spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai to get us through this, man. Okay? It says, um, it says, often... Often he was he was asked to carry loads impossible for human beings. Why? And that's another thing. The things that are impossible with men are impossible are possible with the Most High. So we believe in the in the works of the Most High that He's going to turn the world upside down. He's going to give us spiritual power. We're going to have the other nations in subjections. We're going to rule the next world. 
we believe that it may seem impossible, but our, our master is gonna 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 get it get the job done, man. Okay, it goes on to say, it says, um, often he was asked to carry loads impossible for human being, but when he was given a yoke, the burden became much easier. Yahweh Shai does not say that he will take our burdens away, but that he will give us the means of carrying them so that they are not too much for us. Right? As, as Galatians says, to bear ye one another burdens. And Yahweh Shai is the one that's with us, bearing, bear, uh, bur, uh, bearing these burdens, man. So I'm going to read this, Matthew 11 and, um, and 28. It says, uh, Matthew 11 and 28, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give ye rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in spirit, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. You know, to the world, right, wisdom, just because that, because that's what, uh, this word can be can be uh, a drag unto unto the ungodly, as the scriptures say. Um, wisdom unto a fool is like a is like a burden a burden a burden in stone. He was soon cast it from him. Matter of fact, well, I don't even have my apocrypha, but that just came to my mind just thinking about that. But that's how wisdom is. It will be like a burden unto you because now you're 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 being uh, programmed to do righteousness. All right, you reason why you were so heavy laden. Because you were bound by your sins, man. Now your uh made you free. Now you're under an easier yoke. All right, you're 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 you're, you're yielding uh, fruits unto righteousness now. You see, and that's the that's the beauty of it. You know, let me read that again. Matthew 11 and 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give ye rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. How do we learn? Of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by reading and studying and practicing, rehearsing the righteous acts of these scriptures, man. Okay, well, loving the Most High with all our heart and our neighbor as ourself, so on and so forth. Teaching this word, okay, that that brings comfort. All right, building yourself up. Okay, so but the but overall, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. I'm gonna get the next precept. Is the one that's bearing our burdens. Okay, he's helping us. Okay, uh, a scripture I always like to use or say to myself is that the Lord is with us always until the end of the world because we it's us against the world, man, and we got a, a heavy ass burden that seems impossible, man. Like, damn, this shit is outrageous, especially the hell that you catch in your in your daily lives. Let alone thinking about all this was to come, but it's not to overburden you, right? But you just know that this is a large task at hand. You know, this is a lot of it's a, it's it's a like the Lord said, um, the, the the labors are uh, few, and uh, um, the world is uh, I lo it loses me. But let me get this next scripture. I'm butchering it. Let me think of it. Um, it's all right. But uh, I'm gonna get this in uh, Psalms 55, in uh, 20 uh, 22. It says uh, Psalms 55 and 22. It says, "Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved." Okay, so it's Yahweh by Shimei Shai that's sustaining us. When you, when we cast our burdens upon Him, He's the one that's going, going lay it all, lay it all out for us, man. When things seem too heavy in this walk, all right, that that's the that Yahweh Shai is there to help us part of the way, man. Like like it said, in the manners of custom, the, it didn't say that the Lord's going to take the burden away. Matter of fact, let me go back, go back, all right, go back to it. Cause the Lord ain't gonna take the burden away. You have to bear your burden. You know, you have to bear suffering wrongfully a lot of times in this truth, man. And that's one that's one thing I'm coming to realize as growing, being reborn in a process like as you you have to suffer. Alright, you have to suffer the ignorance of the people, man. And that's one thing that uh in the world you didn't we didn't we didn't do. Okay, it's heavy, man. And that's one thing Yahweh Shai was was sharp on, man, because we gotta move with wisdom. That yoke that we're bearing. It says, um, Yahweh Shai, back in uh, Manners and Customs, right, page one eighty. It says, um, Yahweh Shai does not say that he will take our burdens away, but that he will give us the means of carrying them, so that they are t so that they are not too much for us, not too much for us. Remember, and another thing too here, in uh, First Corinthians. It makes me think of this scripture, you know, 
which are one we all ponder on, that the Lord will ne never put no nothing on us that we can't handle. This is um, this is uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 10 and uh, 12. Make sure I'm recording. It says uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 12, Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth, take heed lest he fall. There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to men. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be also that ye may be able to bear it. All right, and that's the burden, all right, of you uh, suffering as a righteous man in a wicked society, man. The job at hand, man. You you have to be in totally opposition to the world. That's why our weapons for for our yoke. Part of the yoke is prayer, all right? It's fasting, giving alms and tithes, paying, paying respects to the Heavenly Father. That way, the Lord will make our enemies at peace with us, man. Here in this, here in this shitty-ass place, man, you know? So, let me, let me, uh, was that it? Yeah. I'm going to read this actually here back in uh, Psalms 55 again and 22. It says, cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved you know so and that's us brothers a few of us and sisters in, in our Zaquiam you know only a few is trying to really sustain and and, 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 and and do the right thing man bearing this burden man not too many is willing to take the burden uh, let's get this in uh, Galatians 6 and 7 before uh, I get my last one this is um This is Galatians 6 and 7. It says, be not, uh, is that it? No, that's not it. Um, this is uh, Galatians uh, 6 and 5. It says, for every man shall bear his own burden. You know, <laughs> that that's pretty much, you know, but that's what it is. Although we all have our own burden, us being servants, because each and every servant has a duty to take out. And part of that duty, you're going to be sweating. You're going to be tolling. All right, well, you're not going to be in this thing not working. You're not going to be in this thing not breaking a sweat. You know, you you go on, you go on, you got to work for your crown, man. And uh, our apostle, he pushes our apostle to her and, and, and the examples. Our examples lay that flat out, man. And that's the burden, man. Having Yahweh Shai is helping us with our burden, man. You suffering and all that, Yahweh Shai is going to reward you. Okay? But we, we got we to gotta bear our own burdens, man. But Yahweh Shai is there to help us. We got our Akyam to help us with our, help us part of the way. But you got to carry that, carry that cross too, man. Yahweh Shai, he had assistance when he had to carry the cross, right? Uh, Simon. Uh, when he when he he, he, he um, when he began to struggle, right? So you gotta look at it in that manner too. But Yahweh Shah is here to help us, man. Okay, man, this is man. Anyway, with this in uh, First uh, Peter's five and seven, it says uh, I'm gonna start at uh, five. First Peter's five, and um, likewise, ye, uh, First Peter's five and five. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself unto the elder. Ye all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For the Most High resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. And what is and what is part of the, uh, of the care all right, of, of, of us making it, having salvation? But in between that pro process, it's a struggle to get there. All right? Through, through much tribulation, we got this burden, we got this heavy load, okay? Because us being servants, you're not, you're not just not gonna have a task, all right? We, we, we've been brought with a price. The Lord gave us the load, and He gave us the yoke, the tools on how to, how to, how to, how to bear this burden. You know, it's, it sucks. Yeah, it, it, it sucks. But hey, Yahweh Shai is, is He, He did it, okay? The disciples did it, and we can do it. Just put your mind to it. You know, there, there's only a few that's doing that, you know, here in these last days. You know? So, but I'm going to conclude the lesson there. Okay? Call all your hawa by Shimi Hawa Shai by Shimra Kakwadash. Double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. 
Peace, love, and salutation to the whole four-leg kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth. Okay, Lord willing, until the next one, Yahweh Shai will bear, he will kill, Yahweh Shai will help us with our burdens. Until the next one, I say Shalom.